I wasn't expecting to find you here, Natasha. No, well, Helen seemed desperate to go for a run and it was easy enough for me to keep an eye on Jack. He's so lovely with my two, so gentle and careful. He's a sweetheart, isn't he? <laughs> he really is. Is Henry here? Yeah, he's just in his room. How's he been? We haven't really seen him, to be honest. I did go up there and ask if he wanted a snack or anything, but... I'll go up and see him in a sec. You don't know if Stella's fallen out with Brian again, do you? No. No. I haven't heard that at all. Why? Oh, well, I suppose I'm just gossiping now, but I saw Stella this morning, and she looked absolutely miserable. Really? I wondered if she'd had another row with Brian. But I couldn't really ask. I mean, I did ask her if she was OK. What did she say? She said she had a bit of a headache, but I sort of didn't believe her. Brian doesn't seem to have a clue how fortunate he is to have Stella. Which is a bit odd, I think, knowing how difficult it is to recruit really good people. Absolutely. And how do you think Helen's doing? I don't know. It's quite hard to tell. I mean, she's had an awful few weeks, well, awful few months. But the whole business with George and everything, it was just so unnecessary, such an added burden. It's good she's doing so much running. Hmm. What? It worries me. It worries you? Well, she was out yesterday morning and she was out last night. Twice in one day? Yeah. But it does seem a bit OTT. Hi. Hi, Helen. Uh, don't say anything, will you? About the running. Oh, no, no, of course not. Oh, hi, Mum. Hello, love. I just popped round to bring you this. Oh, what is it? Beef bourguignon. Oh, lovely. Oh, thanks. What a brilliant mum you are. <laughs> I don't know about that. No, no, you definitely are. I just thought you might appreciate it. There's always so much to do on the last day of the school holidays, isn't there? Well, that's true. Well, I thought if you didn't have to cook supper, it might help. Oh, thank you. Right, well, I'm going to get out of your way, Helen. Oh, no, no, you don't have to go. But Jack's been so good with the twins, I don't want to push his patience too far. Oh, don't worry about that, he loves Helen and Nova. Has Henry been down? No, no. Right, I, I did check on him. He seems fine. I might just pop up and say hello. Oh, sure. Oh, I really needed that run. Just to get out and get my heart going and clear my head. It's just so good for your mental health, isn't it? Yeah. No, yeah, absolutely. OK, so we have got the house to ourselves for about five hours. Really? Yeah. <laughs> we never get that long. I know. How come? Uh, my mum's at work till like ten or something. Chelsea's at her mate's. Jazz has gone off for the old day with Ed, and my granddad's round at Susan's for both lunch and tea. Excellent. So, what do you want to watch? Uh, what else is on the list? Okay, what have we watched already? Um, The Godfather, part one and part two. Still haven't seen part three. Mm. Taxi Driver, The Seven Samurai, Battleship Potemkin. Oh, Battleship Potemkin was a bit gruelling. Yeah, sorry about that. The baby and the pram falling down the steps and you know, you just know that no one saved that baby. I mean, that was... Dark. It was, yeah. See, that's the thing about a Hollywood film. The babies don't die. Whereas if you watch something French or Japanese... Or Russian. Yeah, you don't know how it's going to work out. Well, you know that in a French film someone will light a cigarette. <laughs> in a, frankly, very sexy way. So do you want to watch something French? <laughs> um... Yeah, you know, I was thinking I'd like to watch something cheesy and wish fulfilment with a linear narrative in which no one dies. Hmm. Kind of goes against the rules of film club. Oh, yeah. But it is only you and me in the club, so we could change the rules, couldn't we? We could. We could. Do you mind if we have just, like, a day off? Not at all. Oh, what about speed? Speed? With Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock. I mean, it's not entirely death-free. Have you seen it already? Of course. Is it great? It's fantastic. <laughs> I'll get out of your way too in a sec. He's spent so much time in his room. Well, that's OK, isn't it? I don't know. I mean, he hasn't exactly had a great summer. No, but that's not your fault. <sighs> isn't it? No, of course not. Oh, Mum, I just feel like I've handled it all so badly. Helen. I've basically scared the living daylights out of Henry. 
Well, perhaps you needed to. The last two weeks he's hardly seen any friends. He's just been bored and alone. A lot. Well, maybe it's good that school starts tomorrow. But the summer holidays are supposed to be the best time of the year. I used to love those six weeks off. I used to dread them ending. Are you ready for school tomorrow? Uh, not really. Well, can I do anything to help? I haven't set up the new dinner money app, or cleaned any shoes, or done oof, loads of things. Oh, I haven't done the labels for Jack's uniform. Well, I could do those if you like. <laughs> I've got to find them first. Well, would it be easier if the boys came to ours for a couple of hours? Then you could think straight and maybe we could entice Henry out of his room into the fresh air. <laughs> Tony might even play a bit of cricket with them. Oh, that'd be really great, actually. Do you mind? No, of course not. I want to help. Mum, you're just brilliant. Don't be daft. Look, why don't you take the bourguignon back to yours, if you're going to give them tea? Well, I could take some and leave the rest. No, don't, honestly. I I've got things in the fridge. Well, this is one of your favourite meals. That's why I made it. I know, I know, and it's so lovely of you, but honestly, I'm just not all that hungry at the moment. Well, you might be hungry later. Anyway, you have to eat some. You just have to, because I made it specially. <laughs> sure. OK. What do you think? I loved it. Oh, it's great, isn't it? It's like fun. I know, yeah. Oh, and I love it that he freaks out. That bit when he's like, we're all going to die. <laughs> so great. You don't normally see that. Yeah, it's very good. Oh, and she is cool, but also capable and charming. I mean, she's a girl and she does no screaming. She just drives really well. <laughs> How often do you see that? Never. Plus, Keanu is gorgeous. Uh, oh. Sorry, should I not say that? You, you can, you can. I, I just feel really jealous. <laughs> I mean, I don't think we're going to get together, me and Keanu. I don't know. Could happen. No, because apparently he actually likes women his own age. How do you even know that? Everyone knows that. So what do you want to do now? Do you want to watch something else? Brad. Yeah. I do actually think you're more gorgeous than Keanu. Yeah, right. I do. That is ridiculous, since I'm clearly not. I love your face. I love your mouth. I think you have really beautiful arms. And I think you're really decent funny, great person. So, you know... Thanks. I mean, I love your face too, by the way. You don't have to say nice stuff to me just because I said nice things to you. I'm not. You're incredibly pretty and you have no idea that you are, which is kind of incredible in itself. I really don't want to go back to college tomorrow. Why? I don't want the summer to end. I feel like we're not going to get much time together after this. We are. We will. We'll totally make it happen. Yeah? Of course. How long have we got before anyone comes home? <sighs> Ages. I don't think we should watch another film. What do you think we should do? Maybe go to your room? Uh, that is one option. Oh, do you not want to? I, I mean, I, I want to do whatever you want to do. Oh, uh, well... I really want to go to your room. OK. Let's do that, then. I'm so sorry to bother you when you're trying to do a million things. No, it's fine, Natasha. It's absolutely fine. It's one of those soft, you know, uh, what are they called? Jelly toys. Oh, right, I'm sure it's here somewhere. <sighs> At least you're past this stage, Helen. Oh, no. Jack's still fairly obsessed with one of his cuddly toys. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, that's nice, though, as well. Oh, I know what you mean. Ah, found it. Oh, oh, brilliant. Thank you, thank you. Panic over. Oh, we should probably just buy multiple versions of this thing, but then I feel like I'm defrauding them or something. <laughs> defrauding them? Yeah, I know that sounds insane. No, it just sounds funny. <laughs> uh, listen, Natasha, you, you wouldn't take some of this beef bourguignon that my mum brought round, would you? Uh, well, don't you want it? No, I, I mean, it's fantastic, but she's, she's given me far too much. Are you sure? Absolutely. Oh, that would be great, actually, because I've got nothing in the house for tea. Well, why don't you take the lot, then? Oh, no. No, I don't want to do that. Please, honestly, you'd be doing me a favour. But what about you? I've got stuff in the fridge. Please, I, I hate things getting wasted. Oh, uh, OK, well, thanks. Yeah, thanks, Helen. <sighs> I'm sorry this is just a single bed. <laughs> I don't care. 
I can budge up a bit. <sighs> yeah, you could if there wasn't a wall there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> you okay? Yeah, I'm good. You're not feeling like... What? Feeling, oh, uh, what's that thing called? Um, buyer's remorse. <laughs> buyer's remorse? Yeah. I didn't know you charged for your services, Brad. Yeah, that'll be a fiver, please. <laughs> a fiver? Yeah. What a bargain. Nah, mate's rates. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but, do you know what I mean? Are you asking if I regret having sex with you? Uh, yeah. Brad. What? Don't be stupid. <laughs> Sorry. Do you regret having sex with me? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> so there you go. <sighs> I wish you could stay over. That'd be nice. Stay over and then eat breakfast together and then catch the bus to college and not have to say goodbye till the first lesson. I mean, you could. We could do that. I haven't got any of my stuff for college or clean clothes or anything. Uh, yeah. What do you think your mum would say? Uh, I think she'd be okay. I can't say for sure. But I mean, what about Will? What about your dad? Yeah, my dad might be a bit funny. No, I think Will would be fine. Like, he knows you and he trusts you. But dad's only met you like once. Yeah, okay. Well... I should have a conversation with him and Will about staying over. Yeah. I suppose I could talk to my mum too. Mm. I think she'll mainly be worried about contraception. Well, you can tell her we've been perfectly sensible. Oh, I don't want to tell her anything. <laughs> I don't really want to talk to my dad either. Well, let's just leave it for a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do we need to get up and get dressed? Um, if you want. Will someone be back soon? Not for at least another hour. So no rush then? No. No rush. You're up early. Hmm. Yeah, I've got an early shift at the Laurels. Someone wanted to swap with me. Does everyone at the Laurels know that you're leaving? I mean, the staff know. Obviously the staff, but what about the residents? No. Ben? I know, I know, I know. This is your last week. Yeah, I know. I just... I didn't know if I was going to go through with it. Go through with what? I wasn't sure, was I? Whether I was going to go back to uni. But you made that decision ages ago. Well, I filled in all the forms and all of that, but then I didn't know for sure that I was actually going to do it. I didn't want to tell everyone I was going and then change my mind and tell everyone I was staying. I don't know, Mum. I just didn't have the confidence in my own decision-making. Right, OK. But now it's got to be done, right? Mm. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm going to do it. Today. Right. Oh, hello, Mia. How are you? I'm kind of amazing. Oh, amazing? Mm, yep. Oh, goodness, well, that's nice. How are you, Susan? Well, I wouldn't say I was amazing, but given that it's a Monday morning, I'm not too bad, thanks. <laughs> what can I get you? Uh, a pan of chocolate, please. Oh, you know they're not vegan, don't you? Yep. Oh, are you giving all that up, then? Oh, no. No, no, no. It's, uh, it's not for me. Oh, right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't want you to, uh, you know, break your vegan vows. Yeah, vegans don't really take vows, Susan. We're not like nuns. Oh, no. No, of course not. Uh, but you know what I mean. You had a haircut? I have indeed. What do you think? <laughs> you look just like a bank manager. Oh, thanks. No, I was kidding. You look great. I'm just not used to you looking so respectable. <laughs> Fair enough. Now listen, Sykes here. What? There's something I need to tell you. Let me guess. Let me guess. Ooh, you're really a tech billionaire and you've only been working at the Laurels as part of a documentary. We're all going to be on the telly. <laughs> uh, no, that's not quite what I was going to say, but I wish I was a tech billionaire. That would be good. Now, anyway, we're getting off track here. Sexy. Yes, Ben? This is my last week. Your last week? Working here at the Laurels. What? I'm sorry. Your last week? Yeah. 
Starting today? I should have told you before. I can't believe it. I'm restarting my nursing course next Monday. Right. I'm really sorry I didn't tell you before now. Right. Sorry. Can you take this away, please? But you haven't eaten anything. Yeah, I'm not hungry now. Oh, Mia, before you go... Yeah? You don't know what Clary's planning to bring to the flower and produce show, do you? She's not saying, being very cagey. Um, no, I've got no idea. It's not for another couple of weeks, but I don't like it when we do the same thing. Perhaps I'd better give her a call. Yeah, 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 give her a call. <laughs> OK. Oh, morning, Stella. Morning, Susan. Hi, Mia. Hiya. Oh, Mia. I've just realised something. Yeah? <laughs> that pan au chocolat you bought is for Brad, isn't it? Um, yeah. <laughs> Do you sell dishwasher tablets? On the shelf over there. And is that a flask of coffee? Yes. Are you going to have breakfast together on the bus? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and you've made a flask of coffee and everything. <laughs> I better go. There's no price on the dishwasher tablet. No, they're £3.20. All right, see you later. <laughs> How long have you and Brad been together now? Susan. What? Stop interrogating the poor girl. I'm not interrogating her. I'm not interrogating you, am I, Mia? Um, maybe a little bit. <laughs> but how long is it? Eight weeks, three days. Oh, eight <laughs> weeks, three days. <laughs> I've got to go. Don't want to miss my bus. Don't want to miss your Brad more like. <laughs> Bye, Susan. <laughs> Bye, Stella. Bye, love. Bye, Mia. <laughs> oh, eight weeks, three days. I oh, know. I mean, that is precise. She's keen. She's very keen. But then so is he. Oh, she looks so happy. Oh, she does. Oh, do you remember what that was like? What, being happy? <gasps> being young and in love. Oh, uh, oh, I'm not sure. It's been a while. <laughs> but there's nothing like it, is there? No. Oh, when me and Neil first got together, I couldn't sleep and I couldn't eat. <laughs> not quite like that anymore. Well, that's probably a good thing. If you couldn't sleep or eat, there'd be nothing left of you by now. Oh, true. <laughs> I mean, we're very happy. We are. I think we have a good marriage, you know, but... Oh, I wouldn't mind living those days again. Wouldn't mind at all. Sexy. What? Well, can I get you some toast or anything? No. I'm worried that you haven't had any breakfast. I'm fine. What about another cup of tea? I'm all right with this one. But it's cold and old. Like me, then. <laughs> Let me get you some toast. I don't want toast. I don't want anything from you. I wish you'd just leave us alone. If you're leaving, then leave. Get it over with. Well, I'm here till the end of the week, so you're just going to have to put up with me till then. Ben? Yeah? Why didn't you tell me as soon as you knew? I don't know, if I'm honest. Oh, well, that explains everything. I was putting it off because I knew you wouldn't be too chuffed. And a bit of me was hoping that maybe I could do both, part-time sort of thing. But it's just not going to work. Why did you drop out in the first place? Uh, it's quite complicated. And what makes you think you'll stick with it this time? I suppose because I've had this time away to work it out. And now I'm sure it's what I want to do. Do you know what I think? What? I think you pick things up and then you drop them when you get bored. That's not true. And I think that's what you've done with me. Hiya. Stella. Uh... Sorry to bother you. Uh, no, not at all. Everything OK? Uh, it's about the Brookfield youth. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I need to uh, move them again, but I wanted to give you a bit of a warning. Tuesday OK? I'll give you a hand. Uh, OK. <laughs> Thanks. It's not like the first time, then. What? When you demanded that I move them immediately. Oh, uh, well, not immediately. Pretty much. <laughs> when was that? Uh -huh. Two years ago? No. Yeah, it was. October 21. And was that the first time we ever met? It was. <laughs> we really didn't hit it off, did we? Oh. 
You must have thought I was such a cow. I did, actually. Oh. Sorry, should I not admit that? No, no, I like your honesty, your brutal honesty. I, I don't think you're a cow anymore. Really? No, of course not. Not even after all that stuff I said the other day. What stuff? Well, you know, when you hid me from your mother. I mean, I could have said, hey, Mum, me and Stella are a thing, to da but we hadn't even discussed I it. I know, I know. No, no, you were right. I was right? In a way, I mean. <laughs> Maybe I'm not ready for that conversation either. It was just a bit jarring, you know. Yeah. One minute we're having coffee and chatting and it's all great, and the next minute... And no, I know, I know. Listen, um... I saw Mia in the shop this morning. Mia? Yeah, sorry, bear with me. Um, you know she's seeing Brad, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> she was literally skipping this morning, like she was in a musical, like she was Maria from West Side Story before Tony gets shot, obviously. Anyway, anyway, she looks so happy because she's in love. And I felt really jealous of that feeling, you know, of romance and... and Summer and youth for crying out loud. And, and, and then I just thought, what am I doing? Because I really like you. And I think you like me too. I do. So, what are we doing? What the hell are we doing? What? You were the one who said... I know, I know. And I'm sorry. I was really harsh and I, I would like to take those words back, please. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, then. <laughs> what? So, so, maybe we should hang out sometime. Maybe we should. See what happens. I would love to see what happens. And... <laughs> oh, thanks, Stella. Thank you so much. God, why are you thanking me? For giving me a chance, I suppose. Uh, maybe I should be thanking you. For what? Oh, for not telling me to get lost. How did it go? Oh, Mum, it was bad. It was really bad. Well, what happened? He's so angry with me. Who? Sykesy. Who? Oh. He's really mad I didn't tell him earlier that I've given him such short notice. He feels like I'm abandoning him. Oh, Ben. I've really messed up. Now, come on. No, that's not <sighs> true. And Sykesy, he'll get over it. He's just got to get used to the idea of you going. I feel like I've done something wrong. Like I've got too close to a patient or a client, resident, whatever. Because why else would he be reacting like that? Well, from everything you've said and everything your grand said, Sykesy seems like a pretty tricky character. I mean, he is. But I'm supposed to be able to handle characters like that as much as the easygoing one. Listen, I don't think you've done anything wrong by forming a positive relationship with the residents. Yeah, but maybe I gave him too much attention, you know? Singled him out. Well, maybe he needed more attention than some of the others. No one comes to see him, Mum. Like, absolutely no one. Well, there you go. He needed you in a way that the others didn't. He did. Yeah, he definitely did. Hi, Ben. Hiya. You OK? Yeah, it's just a rubbish day. Was that Stella I saw? Uh, yeah. She came round to talk about the use. She needs us to move them early next week. I'm going to go have a shower. OK. Try not to take it all on, though. Please. Yep. All right. What's wrong? Sykes is really upset he's going and he feels bad. Oh, right. I do worry that he's still quite vulnerable, you know? Yeah. Anyway, uh, when have we got to move the U's? Um, next Tuesday. I know this sounds a bit paranoid, but... What? Do you think... Uh, do you know if I've done anything to offend Stella? Offend Stella? Uh, well, she's just being quite distant. Is she? Uh, well, usually she'd just pop in, you know, if it was just for five minutes. Uh, well, I think she is really up against it, Mum. I think that's all it is. Can you ask her? Ask her? <laughs> if I've done anything. Oh, I'm sure you haven't, Mum. Oh. Maybe I should ask her. Just be a grown-up. Uh, no, no, don't worry. I'll ask her if, if that's easier. I mean... Really? Of course. I mean, don't make a big deal of it. Just do some discreet digging. Yep. Discreet digging. OK. Thanks, Pip. Sure. No problem. How was your day, Henry? Fine. Anything good happen? No. Anything bad happen? Uh, don't think so. 
What about interesting? Did anything interesting happen? Nothing interesting ever happens at school, Granny. <laughs> Come on, that can't be true. Just can't be. But it sort of is. It's just one lesson after another, and then you go home. Do you know, I think almost every secondary school kid in the country probably comes home and says, nothing happened, everything's fine. Your mum was just the same. Was she? Oh, yeah. Can I get you a snack or something? Uh, I might make myself a sandwich. Oh, well, I can do that for you. It's OK. I'll do it. OK. Where's Jack? He's just watching TV. What time's Mum back? About five, five thirty. Don't worry, it's just my mate Frank. No, I wasn't worried. You looked at it. Did I? Sorry. It's blocked, you know. Rob. I know. I would never ever be in touch with him. Not now. I know you wouldn't. Honestly, I do trust you, Henry. My mum doesn't. She's been, like, jumpy as anything since the thing. But she was already fairly jumpy. And with good reason. I do feel bad about what happened. Oh, sweetheart. It's so hard. My mum said he never wanted me. Rob. What? He wanted Jack, but he didn't want me. I don't think that's true, Henry. I think Rob was very committed to being a dad to you. Till Jack came along. Oh, Henry. I mean, I get it. Jack is his actual son, whereas I'm just some random boy. Henry, you are not just some random boy. To him. To him, I am. Your mum shouldn't have said that. Yeah, she knows that. She feels bad. She's been under so much pressure, Henry. I know. She adores you. I know that too. Well, that's good. How are you doing today, Sykesy? Rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. Listen, mate, I'm sorry. I am. Did you tell your gran to come in and have a massive goo at me? What? No, of course not. I don't believe you. Sykesy, I'm not going to lie to you. Why not? You've lied before. When? There's such a thing as lying by omission, you know. Do you know what that means? Yeah, of course I know what that means. Oh, sorry. I forgot you're such a clever clog. Sorry, can we just go back a bit to my gran? What happened? She said she was here to see Christine, but... That was just an excuse, since she obviously had an agenda. I'm sure she didn't. She did, she did. Told me how ungrateful I was and what a lovely young man you were and how dare I go and upset Hang on, you. hang on, slow down a minute. I mean, it was the last thing I needed. I was already feeling rotten. Kick a man while he's down, why don't you? I don't understand. Because I've said absolutely nothing to my gran about you, because I wouldn't, because my work here is confidential. And believe it or not, I am actually quite professional. <laughs> I am. So I didn't say a word about me and you falling out. Then how did she know? I have no idea. It's Frank again. Is he all right? He doesn't understand the homework, which is so easy. He's actually really clever, but he's also like a bit of a space cadet. Today after PE, he put on my shoes and didn't even notice. <laughs> Well, not even the same size, because he's got massive feet. <laughs> you are, you see. Something interesting did happen today. Yeah, I don't know if that qualifies as interesting. <laughs> oh, here's your mum. She's back early. Hi. How was your day? Yeah, fine. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Nothing. I mean, Gran was just saying that when you were my age, you used to always say your day was fine. <laughs> did I? Doesn't matter. I need to go and call Frank. Oh, OK. Frank doesn't understand the homework, and Henry does. Sure. How was your day, by the way? It was fine. Oh, he seems happier. Yes, he does. Thank you, Mum. It's a pleasure, honestly. Jack been OK? Yeah, fine. Good. How's Lee getting on? Yeah, we're good, I think. Sounds like they're all having a lovely time. He must be worrying about you, though. Well, I haven't actually told him what's going on. You haven't told him about Henry and Rob? No, because I knew he'd be freaked out. And what can he do from America? Oh, Helen! I don't want him to come home early or ruin his time with the girls. No, no of course not. No, but I'll, I'll just tell him everything when he gets back. I'm not going to pretend it didn't happen. I just think that's a lot for you on your own. He's your partner. I'm sure he'd want to know. He's so supportive. But, Mum, I don't want him to know. 
And I don't want him to have to be supportive. He, he's already taken on so much with me and the boys. Well, that's what you do when you love someone. That's the deal, isn't it? I just think that things have calmed down now and there's no need to involve him till he gets back. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yes. No, I mean... You have to do what you think is best, I suppose. Yeah, and that's what I'm doing. Um... There was something that Henry just said. Just now. What? What did he say? Cup of tea, digestive biscuit and your meds. Thank you. Do you need anything else? I don't think so. OK. But, Ben... Yeah? I've been thinking, right, about me conversation with your gran this morning. Right. Yeah. And I've realised how she knew about you and me falling out. Go on, then. I think it was me that told her. You? Well, see, now I think about it, I, I, I might have slagged you off a bit. <laughs> you might have. I mean, I did. To my gran? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which, looking back, was uh, a bad idea. Mm. See, I just assumed that you would have told her all about us falling out already, so I went off on one and I suppose she picked up all the relevant information from what I said. I see. So, I think I owe you an apology. Oh, well, thanks, mate. You're a good lad, Ben, you are. And you've been a good friend to me. Well, I've tried to be. I don't always... I know I, I don't always... I mean, I've got a bad habit of upsetting people that I'm actually very fond of. I suppose I've got a bit of a temper. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's it. I'm a bit of a git. That rhymes. That's it. I'm a bit of a git. I could write a poem about myself. Sorry. So, listen, right, I, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you too, Sykesy. But I'd really like to help you out in some way. No, no, there's no need for that. It's really nice that you said sorry. That's great, and... That's enough. I really appreciate it. No, see, I'm not done, cos... I know it's expensive. U university, it is, isn't it? Uh, it is, yeah. So, I'd like to help you out financially. Oh, I mean, you can't do that. You just can't. It's so, so kind, but... Listen, don't argue, cos I've already written you a cheque. Sykesy, I can't take money off you. You can, you can, it's easy. Take the cheque, cash the cheque, Bob's your uncle. And all that? No, you don't understand what I'm saying. It's against the rules. I, I can't. It's totally unethical. Well, never mind about that. What? <laughs> no, honestly, I can't take it. I've got quite a bit of savings. You, you wouldn't think it, would you, looking at me? But I've got quite a bit stashed away. You wouldn't be taking all of it. Sykesy. Will you not even look at the cheque? No, I won't. It's for three grand, you know. Three grand? <laughs> three grand? See? You're tempted, aren't you? Am I interrupting? It's OK. I, I don't want to ruin the game. I'm nearly done. Do you want anything? No, I'm fine. Jack's so into reading suddenly, he wouldn't let me read to him. I've left him to it. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. I'll be a bit sad if he never lets me read him a story again. I'm sure he will. Yes, scored! <laughs> Is that it? Are, are you done? Yep. Can, can I talk to you now, um, properly? What about? Um, I, I just wanted to say that I'm really, really sorry for what I said uh, about Rob not wanting you. Did Grant say that we talked about it? it she did. She, she wasn't telling on you or anything, she was just worried. I mean, it makes sense that he didn't want me, because I'm not his, am I? And I'm over it now. And I don't even want him to want me. Why would I? He's basically a terrible human being. Even if he is dying. I mean, dying doesn't suddenly just make you a saint, does it? No. So I'm fine. Forget it. Henry, you wouldn't have mentioned it to Gran if it wasn't still bothering you. It's not him. I don't care about him. It was you, being like that, looking like that. I thought... I thought you might hit me. Hit you? I didn't know. When have I ever hit you? You haven't. So what makes you think I'd start now? Because I've never seen you so angry. Oh, Henry, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry too. I know I made everything so much worse. But it wasn't your fault. I mean, he's so manipulative and dangerous, frankly. Yeah, yeah. But you do know, you, you do know how much I love you, don't you? Yes, of course. And I get it. I do. 
You were so angry that you said something really mean. But you didn't really mean it. No, no, that's not it at all. I thought if I told you that Rob didn't really want you, then you would stay away from him and you would be safe and Jack would be safe. And there's really nothing else I want more in the world than to protect the two of you. I would die for you. I would die for you over and over. Okay. Don't cry, Mum. Please, don't cry. <laughs> Sorry. Do you want a hug? I really do. Oh, thank you. It's going to be all right. Oh, I'm supposed to say that to you. You can say it too. It's going to be all right. We can say it to each other. You are so great, Henry, honestly. So are you. <sighs> no, you have to take the compliment. <laughs> okay. C can we have a game? You want to play a video game? Yeah. But you'll be terrible. Yeah. Okay. What team do you want to be? Um, Real Madrid? Good choice. Thanks. I'll be Man City. Yeah, and then when Lee gets back, I can beat him. You're never going to beat Lee. He's really good. Oh. So, do you want me to go hard or easy? Just do whatever you want to do. If I go hard, then I'll destroy you. Uh, okay. Maybe go easy then. <laughs> okay. Hiya. All right, Ben. I just came to check on you before I clock off. I'm all right. I'm, I'm fine. I wanted to say thank you for your very kind offer. I really did appreciate it. But I wish you'd just take the check. But you must understand why I can't. I don't. I don't understand because I've never liked rules. <laughs> well, we need some rules, Sykesy, because otherwise, you know, people wouldn't be safe. But what's unsafe about me giving you a check? God, I wish you hadn't brought it up again. Take it, son, please. Hey. It would mean a lot to me. I can't. Ah! Ah! Sykesy? Ah! Ah! Wow! That wasn't... that wasn't too clever. Are you all right? Can you feel any pain? I think... I think I can't move. OK, hang on, I'm just going to press the buzzer. It really... really, really hurts. Okay. Just don't move, OK? I do wish Jazza would fix this table. Well, maybe he'll have time now you've got all your weddings out the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, last week was so lovely, Mum. It was. Couldn't believe Brad caught the bouquet. He looked so <laughs> embarrassed. Yeah, but also a tiny bit pleased. So long as he doesn't suddenly announce he's getting married. <laughs> oh, they've all been so good, your weddings. We've only had two. I know. You make it sound like we've had ten. Well, most people only have one, see? <laughs> <laughs> two in two months. Oh. What are we going to do for your birthday, Chelsea? Mm. Don't know. It's not like it's a special one. Not like last year. I mean, not that last year was so special because I was going through all that stuff, but what I mean is, you know, I'd be happy just to go down the pub with you and Jazza and Brad and a few of my mates. Really? Yeah, why not? I wouldn't have thought you'd want to mix your mates and your family. Well, I'm not bothered about that. I'm very mature these days, Mum. You are, actually. Oh, no, what? You think I've got boring? No, not at all. Maybe that's what happens when you turn 19. I mean, it is quite old. Yeah. So old. But it does feel old, 19. Old? Chelsea, do me a favour. Mm. I'm thinking I should start learning to drive again, you know? Really? Well, it would be useful, wouldn't it? Especially if I'm going to do more mobile hairdressing. I know cars are expensive, but if I save up, I could get some old banger, couldn't I? Or oh, you could borrow the Riley. <laughs> we'll all be fighting over the Riley soon. You'll have to do a rota. <laughs> Brad! Mia. Hiya. Hi. How you doing? Yeah, okay. You? Yeah, fine. It's quite weird, isn't it? What's weird? Just like seeing each other in the corridor when we're not expecting to. No, I mean. Yeah, I do, yeah. But then there's all these other people around. Ah, damn them. Damn them. So, what are you doing now? Got chemistry in about, ooh, three minutes. Yeah, I've got English. Have you got many free lessons? No, because I'm doing four A-levels. Yeah, me too. Why are we doing that? I don't know. Everyone says don't do it. Let's look at our timetables at lunchtime and see when our free lessons are. Uh, we'll never match up. OK, but let's just look. Are we in the canteen about one? Yeah. Oh, I better run. I need to speak to my tutor before the class starts. Can I have a kiss before you go? 
Brad Horriban wants to kiss in a public space. Uh, we don't really have time for you to be sarcastic. In a corridor? By the lockers? I don't care about that anymore. <laughs> what have I done to you? Ruin me. <laughs> My work is done. Are we going to kiss or not? Yes. <sighs> oh, is that your phone? Yeah. Answer it. I don't want to answer it. You don't know who it is? Might be an emergency or something. I'm sure it isn't. Uh, it's just George. Answer it. It's okay. Answer it, because it's obviously something. Otherwise, you wouldn't be ringing. Anyway, I'll see you in the canteen. Yeah, okay, yeah. Hello, George. Oh, finally. You're right. Why are you blanking me? What? I've sent you, like, a ton of messages. You've sent me two. That's enough. It's not a ton, though, is it? All right, all right. Math's genius. Sorry, I've just been a bit... Busy with me, yeah? <sighs> just busy. I never see you no more. Yeah, you do. And you don't even have the decency to text me back. You only messaged this morning. What are you doing Friday? Uh, oh, I don't know yet. Do you want to go to the pub? Um. Oh, don't tell me you're seeing me, because you two see each other all the time. We don't. We really don't. Not now college has started. <laughs> you go to the same college. Anyway, she's at her dad's this weekend. Great. So you can come to the pub? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can. Dad left a load of things round at ours on Sunday. I don't know how he manages it, honestly. Two pairs of glasses, one hat, a toothbrush, dressing gown, one slipper, so I don't know what he's done with the other one. Well, what, did you stay over? No, some of it was from the time before. Oh. Do you want to join us for a bit of lunch, Susan? No, thanks. Can't stop. Got to get back to the post office. Oh! Jill came in this morning, mm -hmm. said that one of the residents at the Laurels broke his hip yesterday, poor love. Why are you telling us that? Yeah, why are you telling us that? Well, it just makes me glad that Dad is living here with you and not in a home, you know? Yeah. I mean, you could still break a hip living here. Is that my book under your table? What? Under your table leg? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it was left over from the car boot you did. Didn't you see it? Was it? Oh, yeah, it was in that box of stuff no one wanted. Yeah. Well, I wanted it. And it wasn't even meant to go to the car boot in the first place. It's come in very handy. <laughs> well, that is definitely my copy of Lark Rise to Candleford, because I've been looking for it. Well, you can't have it back till Jazza fixes the table leg. But it's my book. Yeah, you can have it back, but not till Jazza's done the table. But it's getting ruined on the floor like that. No, it's not. It's fine. It's got oh, spaghetti sauce on it or something. What? Oh, yeah, that is spaghetti sauce. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, you know how messy Grandad is. Honestly, oh. that book is precious to me. Don't move it. Why? Because then the table falls over. What? That's why it's there, see? But it's my book. Well, we need it so we can eat our lunch. Well, use another book. We haven't got another book that fat. We haven't got that many books, to be fair. Brad's got quite a few, but they're not really right, are they? No, not really. No, no, I want my book back. Why? Because it's mine. But it's not like you're going to read it. I might. I might want to read it. Don't you dare move it, Susan, because the table will fall over and all these plates will smash. Oh, then I'll clear the table first. Oh, we're still eating. <laughs> Listen, I won that book at school. You won it? What, in a raffle? No. It was a prize for an essay I wrote. Really? You never won a prize for an essay. I did. What was the essay about? I can't remember now. That's because there was no essay in the first place. Hey. Hey. Sorry I'm late. That's all right. Uh, have you eaten anything yet? I was waiting for you. Oh, sorry. It's fine. Should we get in the queue? Uh, what's your new tutor like? Yeah, good. Seems nice. Um, Listen, what are you doing Friday night? Uh, why? Well, I was thinking maybe I could come over. What, you're at your dad? Yeah, I'm supposed to be, but, well, obviously I'd rather see you. And I could just ask Will if it's OK for me to stay there. Uh, what about Saturday night? Could we hang out on Saturday night instead? Oh, Saturday night we're going out for dinner because it's my dad's girlfriend's birthday. Can you not do Friday? <sighs> I just said I'd go to the pub with George. Oh, uh, OK. But, I, I mean, I could cancel him. <laughs> for me? Oh, he'll love that. And no, um, what about... Sunday, in the daytime. It's Chelsea's birthday. My mum's made plans. Right, um... I'll cancel seeing George on Friday. I'll just see him another time. Really? Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. 
Why are you making this up? I am not making this up. We were all rubbish at school, you included. So don't go around making out like you were better than the rest of us. I didn't say I was better. I just said I was actually reasonably academic. But you weren't. None of us were. That's why none of us got decent jobs or made much of ourselves. Oh, speak for yourself. Well, you're not exactly a Cambridge professor, are you? Neither are you. But I never said I was. Well, I never said I was either. Just because you've got a four-bedroomed house and we're living in a rented house with Dad... What's that? got to do with anything? You do. What? What? What is wrong with you? She, she started, started it. Oi. Brad. Wait up. All right, George. You want to come to the shop with us? Uh, what for? Don't know. Just to hang out. My plan is to buy loads of different crisps and just eat the lot in one go. In front of the telly. Right. We could do that together. We could do that at yours. Uh, I'm sort of knackered and... I've got tons of college work. Also, my granddad's always watching Countdown about this time of day, so... Ah, well. More crisps for me, then, if I do it in my place. And no Burt Hog in the TV. Sorry. No worries at all. But I'll see you in the pub Friday. About 7.30? Uh, <clears throat> about that. What? Can we do Saturday instead? Why can't you do Friday? Something's come up. Something's come up? Yeah. Oh, I wonder. I can't think what that something could be. All right, all right. So you're ditching me from here? Can you do Saturday or not? No, I can't do Saturday because my mum and Ed have got a family thing planned and I've got to join in because I'm still in the doghouse since I lost my job. Right. Things have been really bad for me lately. You don't know the half of it. I mean, I know it's not been easy. Everyone has been on at me. Like, everyone. Saying I've got a bad attitude towards women, which I don't really get because I really like women... Women are great. Who would want a world without women? Not me, you know. <laughs> and that video with Helen was nothing to do with her being a woman. That video was bad, George. Oh, don't you start. But it was. I need a mate, Brad. Not you having a go at me too. OK. I'm making a real effort right now. I am. To, to be respectful, to be careful. And maybe I did go too far with the video. Obviously everyone else thought I did, so maybe I did. But is that a reason not to come to the pub with me? No, of course not. That's not why. It's just that... Well, Mia's not free Saturday. Well, I'm not free Saturday either. And maybe just for once you could choose me over her. Not because she's a girl, and I don't like girls. Because I do like girls. I even like Mia. Really? I mean, she's OK, she's fine. But right now, I need you more than Mia does. I've had a bad couple of weeks, and I just want to go down to the pub and talk about it. Because you're like one of my best mates. But you're also my sort of cousin, so you get in a way other mates don't. Your family, Brad. Yeah, no, yeah, I know. So are you really going to say no to one poxy night out? Ugh. You're still reading that? <laughs> you can see I am. No, but are you actually reading it? No, Mum, I'm just pretending by staring at the pages. All right, all right, no need for sarcasm. You want to watch something on telly in a bit? No, I want to read this. Yeah, but you're not going to read it all night, are you? Don't know, might do. What's it about? It's about this girl, and she's called Laura, and she lived in, like, the 1880s. That's when she was, like, a kid. So mm -hmm. it's about her and her brother in the village where she grows up, and they've all got no money. Sounds familiar. <laughs> exactly. So what's the story? Mm, well, there's not, like, a big story. It's just day-to-day -day stuff about how they live and what they eat and how they kill a pig and Laura feeling sorry for the pig and how mm. her mum don't really get her because she's a bit dreamy and a bit poetic. Right. Yeah. It's like it shouldn't be that interesting, but it really is. Oh, no, and you can't tell Susan that Jazz has fixed the table because then she want her book back. Oh, right, yeah. And I think this is going to take me quite a while because I'm only on page 53. Chelsea, mm. there are short or easier books out there, you know. No, I know that. It's like you're climbing Everest before you've done Lakey Hill. Yeah, but maybe I don't want to climb Lakey Hill. Maybe I want, like, a proper challenge. Well, maybe I should read it with you then. Well, you can't, because we've only got one copy. I bet someone else has got a copy. Someone in Ambridge, I bet you any money. Yeah, you're probably right. And then, <laughs> me and you, we could climb Everest together. <laughs> How are you feeling about next week? Yeah. Yeah. What does that mean? Yeah, I, I don't know. Nervous, I suppose. Unexcited. 
I'm nervous, basically. <laughs> well, that seems about right. Will all the same people be there? Yeah, yeah, but they'll all be in the year above now. Well, you'll meet some new people then. And keep the old ones? I suppose so, yeah. Hopefully. Oh, I feel like the old ones, they'll all be way ahead of me now. Mm. And I'll just feel really out of it. Maybe in the beginning. No, it's going to be great, Ben. I just hope no one breaks a hip in my first week. What? Sykes, he brought the hip this week. Oh, yeah, sorry. I forgot about that. How's he doing? I haven't seen him since they took him off in the ambulance, but I'm going to go visit him at the hospital this morning. Oh, that's good of you, Ben. Not really. It's the least I can do. In fact, I should get going, actually. OK. Well, I hope he's all right. Yeah, let's see. I'll see you later. See ya. I should get on with some stuff as well. Uh, did you manage to speak to Stella at all this week? Uh, I, I haven't. No, not yet. OK. Oh, well, maybe just forget it, hmm? I'm probably just worrying over nothing. I'll try and speak to her today, Mum. But only if it's easy. I don't want to put you in an awkward position. You're not. It's fine. I'll, I'll definitely check in with her. Do you think Ben's going to be OK? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Really? Yes, absolutely. But this whole thing with Sykesy breaking a hip, he's really struggled with it. He feels kind of responsible which is ridiculous. Hi. Uh, hi, Mum. Good run? Yeah, yeah, it was great, thanks. You got time for a quick cuppa? Oh, I uh, should really just chop myself in the shower and get to the dairy. OK, well, I don't want to keep you. Everything OK? Yeah, um... What's wrong? Uh, well, well, Natasha told me something got me a bit worried. Oh? Well, I was already a bit worried, actually, but I... I wasn't sure if I should say anything. What is it about Henry? Is he okay? What have you found out? No, 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 no. It's 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 not about Henry. It's you I'm worried about. Me. Natasha said you gave her the bœuf bourguignon I cooked for you. Oh, is that it? That that's all this is about. <laughs> I didn't give it all to Natasha. I, I ate quite a bit of it. But you didn't. I know you didn't. Natasha told me you gave her the whole lot. Why is she reporting on me? She's not reporting on you. She asked me for the recipe because it was so delicious. And then she felt bad because she remembered that you'd asked her not to tell me that you'd given the meal away. Well, yes, because I didn't want to offend you, Mum. And I, and I actually did eat some and it was great and I'm grateful. Why are you being so weird? Because I asked her if you ate any of it. And she said no. So now you're not telling the truth once more. Oh, blimey, Mum, it's like being interrogated by the secret police. I'm sorry, but I couldn't just leave it. But I wasn't truthful about eating the food because I didn't want you to feel like all your efforts have gone unappreciated. And I really don't understand why you're making such a drama of this. Don't you? No. Helen. Oh, what? You're running all the time. I'm not. Not all the time. Every day, sometimes twice a day. Okay, you have to stop watching me like this. I'm not watching you. I'm just telling you what I see. I'm, I'm really concerned. Well, you don't need to be. Are you eating enough? Oh, yes. You look thinner. Do I? Yes. Well, I just don't have much appetite at the moment. I've been stressed about, you know, everything. Of course. It's not surprising. It's really not. So then why are you giving me a hard time? Look, should we just go into the house? Put the kettle on and talk about this a bit more? Fine. How's the hip? Ah, it's been better, I suppose. Are you in a lot of pain? I mean, the painkillers are doing the job, but I'm not looking forward to the physio. What have they said? Should make a full recovery. That's good. That's great. If there's no complications. OK. It's good of you to come and see me. I feel really bad about you falling over. Well, that wasn't your fault. Yeah, I know. I mean, I know it wasn't, but if you hadn't been trying to give me a cheque, then... Well, that was me being an idiot. No, you weren't. You were actually being incredibly generous. But I should have listened. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm really going to miss you, Ben. I'm going to miss you too, Sykesy. But I'll come and see you at the Laurels, I promise. You've got to believe that. Because I really will. Yeah, well, 
thing is, I won't actually be at the Laurels anymore. What? Why? Well, it's a, it's a bad break. They can't have me back there. I'm going to need a lot of nursing, apparently. Why did you say it was all going to be OK? Well, I, I, I didn't want you to worry. Oh, sexy. I told you I'm an idiot. Yeah, you really are. <laughs> You're not supposed to agree with me. <laughs> Look. What? This is me eating a biscuit. Helen. So that proves it. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to make things worse. Yeah, no, you didn't. If you say you're eating and you say that you're taking care of yourself, then I believe you. Good. Great. But, I mean, you are running a lot. Mum. Sorry. All right, I'm going to eat two biscuits. I'm going to eat a whole packet right in front of me. How about that? That isn't necessary. Henry's been happy this week? Yes, he has. Mm hmm And this really good chat on Tuesday, I think it was. Yep. After he told me what he'd said to you. We had a really good chat about that. And then we played video games together. You played video games? Yes. Yeah. It was really bad, but it was fun. And, well, we haven't really had fun for ages. Oh, well, that sounds really good. Yeah. And Lee will be back soon, and I haven't heard any more from Rob. Well, that's something. So, really, things are not too bad, and you mustn't worry. Well, <laughs> that's the trick. How do you stop yourself worrying about your kids? Even when they're all grown up, honestly, it's impossible. So have they told you where you're going to be? Nah, not yet. I mean, it's not going to be miles away, is it? I'm sure I can still come and see you. I don't know, Ben. It might not be easy for you and you'll have college and a lot going on. Well, I'll just make the time. Y you don't owe me anything, all right. You have every right to go and live your life. That's one of the things your grand said to me. Did she? She said you'd had a hard time this year. Oh, right. Well, I didn't know that. She told you quite a lot then, huh? Mm, not too much. No details. <laughs> I mean, are you all right? You know, are you all right now? I think I am, yeah. Good. Thanks for asking. I think you'll be a brilliant nurse. Really? Look how calm you were when I fell. And you're good at making connections with people. <laughs> It's true, it's not flannel. Well, we, we just got on. We get on, me and you. But I hardly get on with anyone. You, you get on with everyone, that's my point. Well, I don't know about that. I drive my sister and my brother pretty mad. Yeah, they don't count. Oh, I'll tell them that. <laughs> you deserve to be happy, Ben. Thank you, Sykesy. So do you. <laughs> it's too late for me. Don't say that. It's true, though. You've got to do what they say, or the physio, put in the work, and get back on your feet. OK. Promise? OK. <laughs> Wait, I really should get in the shower and get on. Oh, yes, goodness. Me too. And I'm sorry. What for? Being alarmist. Neurotic. Mum, you're hardly neurotic. Well, I was obviously so completely on the wrong track because you're coping brilliantly. Thank you. And I'm extremely proud of you. Oh, God. What? Uh, I'm sorry, Mum. I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, what's wrong, Helen? I'm not... Uh, I'm not coping brilliantly. You are. You really are. I mean, most people would have collapsed in a heap by now. I can't do it, Mum. I'm struggling. I... It's too hard. Sorry. You were right. About your eating... Oh, Helen. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm darling. Sorry. Please don't apologise. I, I don't know what to do. Yes, you do. I don't want it to get like last time. It won't. It really won't, Helen. Because you won't let it. How do you know that? I might. I could easily. But you understand this illness now. I've beaten it before. If beaten it's even the right word. But honestly, Helen, you can do this. And we'll help you and it'll be all right. OK. OK. Why don't you go and have a shower and then call your GP? But what do I tell them? On reception, they always ask you what the problem is, don't they? Just tell them the truth. Why wouldn't you? It's embarrassing. Would they even listen? You've got nothing to be embarrassed about. As far as I'm concerned, you're absolutely heroic. <laughs> heroic? You are. Should I tell them that on reception? OK, 
Okay, Mum, so I've talked to Stella. What did she say? Well, you have absolutely not offended her, which I knew you hadn't. She's just been so overwhelmed with stuff at home farm and she's really sorry that she's not been around. What did you say to her exactly? Well, I played it down. Uh, I think I played it well. It's all good. Okay. Yeah. And she wondered if we wanted to go to the pub tomorrow night. Can you do that? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can. Do you think Dad would have Rosie? While the women all skip off to the pub. <laughs> I mean, men have been doing it for a couple of thousand years. <laughs> Do you think they had pubs 2,000 years ago? <laughs> well, they would have had something drinking equivalent, wouldn't they? Yeah, I suppose they would. So we're sorted? That'll be really nice, Pip. You and me and Stella. Yeah. Yeah, good. Great. Thanks so <laughs> much. Oh, please, don't thank me, honestly. Oh, hi. Yeah. How did it go with Sykesy? Oh, it was good, yeah. It was really good. But also sad, you know? Mm. We sort of said goodbye. Why? Well, they're moving in miles away. He's not going back to the Laurels? No, no, he needs a nursing home. And I don't know where he's going yet. But you can still go and see him, right? Yeah, I'll try, of course. But I don't know when I'll see him again. And I'm not sure if he's going to be able to walk again. Really? I mean, he's old, and it's a bad break. And you lose so much mobility when you don't move around enough. Oh, it's tough being old, isn't it? He got really distressed when I had to go. Oh, did he? Oh, Ben. I felt like crying myself, to be mm. honest. Did he cry? A bit, yeah. I mean, I think I did manage to cheer him up, but... I'm sure you were great, Ben. I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, right, I've got to get ready for work. Are you working this afternoon? Yep. What about lunch? Uh, I could make you a sarni. Oh, that would be great, actually. Cheese and pickle? Perfect. Go and get ready and I'll do it now. All right, thanks, Mum. <laughs> Can you make me one, too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I think you're right, you know. What? So about what? I think he's going to be all right. Ben? Yeah. Oh, he is. Oh, he totally is. Here's your apple juice, Brad. Thanks. <sighs> When you're actually allowed to buy a pint in here, you are going to drink like a proper drink, aren't you? I don't know. I'm not sitting in here for the next decade with you drinking apple juice. Well, it's up to me what I drink, surely. No, I get it right now. I get it. You want to do things by the book, and I can live with that. But once you're 18, we are growing out. And we are getting totally hammered. I mean, like, paralytic hammered. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, Brad, Brad, Brad. Cheers. Cheers. Did you see me talking to Fallon just now? Uh, yeah. Did you see she touched my arm? No. She did. She touched my arm. Well, so what? I think she does like me. A bit. Like, if I was just a bit older, or she was just a bit younger. Or if she wasn't married to Harrison? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. I thought you were over your Fallon phase. I am. I yeah. am. It sounds like it. No, I'm not interested in her anymore. Not at all. But I reckon sometimes she does look at me and wonder. <laughs> I bet she does. Well, why is that funny? You know, we all do, George. We all look at you and wonder. Yeah, ha ha. Oh, I'm serious. I'm in my prime. Harrison is getting on. Harrison's basically past it. Well, they look pretty happy to me. She did touch my arm, though. Like, deliberately. Yeah, OK. You weren't looking. You didn't see. Are you ready? Oh, I've... Just messed my mascara up. Hang on. Now I look like I've got a black eye. Stella's going to be waiting. Oh, I need another tissue. Mascara when it goes wrong. Yeah, nightmare. Uh, look, just because you're going for the rustic farmer look doesn't mean I have to do the same. Yeah, I am not going for a look. This is just how I look. And you look great, Mum. You do. Oh, thanks, Pip. What? You do? I just fancy getting a bit... Dolled up? I'm not getting dolled up. You are making a lot of effort for a night at the bull with your mother and your mother's best maid. Oh, what do you say? Stella's your best mate? Oh, one of them. But we haven't known each other that long, have you? Well, I don't think that always matters. Well, and I mean, she's my friend too, don't you think? Well, I never said she wasn't. Oh. Can we get going, Just please? I said. Pip! I want to feel nice. What's wrong with that? Nothing, except that we're late. Oh, Stella will be fine. She won't mind. Look, OK, I, I know I shouldn't ask, but... What? What? 
this woman that you've got a thing with, or for, is she going to be at the pub tonight? Because uh, Stella and I can leave you to it. Uh, no, no, of course not. No, no, why do you think that? <laughs> because we're taking nine hours to leave the house. Oh, we are not. And is that a new job? Okay, just stop. Stop what? Give me the fourth degree. I wasn't. Oh, right. Do I look okay? You look really... What? Really beautiful. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks, Mum. Can we go now? Sure. Okay, don't look over now. What? You know the two girls sitting diagonally across? Yeah. Do you know them? Uh, no. Me neither. So what do you think of them? Uh, I don't know. Because I think the ash blonde is really nice. The ash blonde? Yeah. I don't really know what ash blonde is. It means darker blonde, obviously. Okay, sorry. So, they keep looking over at us, right? Do they? Yes. Well, then go talk to them. Well, we could go over there together. But they might not want us. Then why do they keep looking over? Are you sure they do? They definitely, definitely do. So then, just go and talk to the one you like. I can sit here and wait. I don't mind. But what about the other one? What do you think of her? I don't think anything. She's not bad. I mean, she's not as nice as her mate, but you could do worse. George, I'm with Mia. I've given up an evening together to be with you. But you're not engaged, are you? You've only been together three weeks. It's nine. Nine weeks, actually. To the day. <laughs> not that you're counting or anything. But why were you looking all marding the other day? When? When you got off the bus. I wasn't. Because maybe I could help. Help with what? Let's just be honest, right? I have more experience than you with women. Well, with everything, but especially with women. Uh, yeah, that's probably true, but... So you can tell me stuff, and maybe I can advise you. There's not a lot to tell, George. You know, we're we're good. Me and Mia, we're great. Oh, it's like getting blood from a stone. I'm sorry, all right? I don't know what you want me to tell you. Have you... you know... That's not really any of your business. So you have it. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, that's because you haven't. Because if you had, you would want to talk about it. I sometimes think you don't know me at all. Are you saying that you have? Have you? Didn't say that. Well, just give me a straight answer. <sighs> Why don't you go and talk to that ash blonde girl? <sighs> yeah, OK, fine. Be more interesting than talking to you. So what am I getting you both? Uh, can I have a large glass of red, please? Sure. Pip? Uh, yeah, I'll have the same. OK, see you in a sec. Oh, can we have crisps? More flavour? Uh, scampi, if they've got them. Really? E yeah. Crisps, Stella. Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Oh, no. What? Do you really hate scampi crisps? No, not at all. <sighs> Some panic. About scampi crisps? Uh, yeah, that you'd hate them and then I'd smell of them and I'd be repellent to you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Well, thanks for doing this. Coming to the pub? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's awkward as hell, I know. Oh, it's not that bad. No? No, it's fine. It's really fine. Just relax. <sighs> yeah. Right. It's nice. I'm glad to be here. Really? Absolutely. Maybe we should all get really smashed and then tell her. Tonight. But then she might not remember in the morning and we'd have to tell her all over again. I mean, uh, yeah, that doesn't sound like the best idea you've ever had. <laughs> I was joking. Uh, half joking. <laughs> <laughs> you look amazing, by the way. Do I? Yeah. Thank you. Mia? Brad? How are you doing? I thought you were going to the pub with George. I am. I'm at the pub right now. Well, I'm standing outside while George is chatting up some girl inside. Oh, right. That doesn't sound much fun. He's really doing my head in. Oh, no. I mean, the other day he was all like, I'm having a really bad time. I really need you, Brad. Get out the violins and everything. And now I... Now I feel really stupid. No, you were just being a good mate. I wish I'd blown him out. Well, for what it's worth, I think you did the right thing. I don't, but thanks. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you too. 
It's ridiculous because I have seen you. <laughs> I saw you this morning. I know, but we didn't get any real time together. We haven't actually seen each other properly all week. I wish you were here. Yeah. I don't want to hang out with George, though. <laughs> no, of course not. I wish you were here and we could just run away. Can I get anyone another drink? Blimey, Pip, you're not that back quick enough. I was just thirsty. <laughs> right. Stella. Oh, no, I'm OK, thanks. Still nursing this one. Mum? I'm fine too. I think it's the crisps. They're very salty. Why don't you just get yourself a Coke? I don't want a Coke. Why would I want a Coke? Because we've been here about ten minutes and you're already drunk. No, I don't think <laughs> I'm drunk. Did you eat any dinner tonight? Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. I'm not that hungry at the moment. I can't sleep that well either. I don't know why. I think I'm just too excited. Too excited? Yeah. yeah. So are you going to tell us what you're so excited about? Uh, maybe. Mm, let's see. I'm going to go and get you that Coke. I'm also going to get you a sandwich. Good idea. What kind of sandwich do you I, want? No, I don't want a sandwich. You need to eat something, Pip. Why? To soak up the alcohol. Why are you both treating me like a teenage girl? <laughs> because you're acting like a teenage girl. I'm just a bit in love. With life. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in love with life. I'm going to the bar. Oh, please don't get me a Coke, Stella. Get me a proper drink. Only if you promise to eat a sandwich. Where the hell have you been? I was just getting some air. Getting some air? How did you get on with your ash blonde? Yeah, well, yeah. Turns out she wasn't interested. Oh, I am sorry to hear that. Turns out she wasn't looking at me. She was looking at you. Sorry? I know. Well, I can't believe it either. Uh, <laughs> what? Did you tell her I've got a girlfriend? No, I said you were single. Seriously? Yes. Why would you say that? Have you seen that girl? She's gorgeous. Totally out of your league. And I, as your loyal friend and cousin, did not want you to miss what is probably the only chance you'll ever get with someone that good looking. OK. I think I'm going to go. Go home. where? Home. Oh, it's not even nine o'clock. I'm not interested in another girl. I'm crazy about Mia. She's like the best thing that's ever happened to me. And she's standing right behind you. What? Hiya. Mia. Did you just say I'm the best thing that's ever happened to you? Uh, no. He was talking about uh, something else. That maths course he did. <laughs> ha ha. I did say that actually, about you. Not the maths course. Well, I think you're the best thing that's ever happened to me too. Oh, can you stop it, you two? Is that true? It's totally true. OK, this is not OK, Mia. When two men go out for a drink, they do not want the girlfriends turning up. It's like one of the most basic rules of pub going. Well, I was just about to leave anyway, so... Oh, that's great. Abandon me. That's just perfect. George, I was already leaving even before Mia showed up. And you know why. So just stop with the old pity me, poor me act. Wait, why were you leaving? It don't matter. Is everything OK? That girl over there, that 10 out of 10 girl, is after Brad. What, the dark blonde one or the light blonde one? The ash blonde one. He means the dark blonde one. I mean, she might be a 10 out of 10, but she can't have 2020 vision, can she? Oh, that's <laughs> quite witty for you, George. Oh, thanks, Mia. She is very pretty. You a bit of a lesbian, Mia. <laughs> what is wrong with you, George? Oh, I need another drink. Blimey, he's on form. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Don't you dare apologise for him. How did you get here so quick? I was already on my way over. Really? I was going to surprise you. I thought I'd stay at Grange Farm tonight and then maybe see you tomorrow. But on the phone you sounded like you needed rescuing. I did need rescuing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think you should stay over at mine tonight. Really? I mean, why not? Well, what about your mum? She'll be fine with it. But what if she's not? What about Will? What about my dad? Mm. Text Will so he knows you're safe and where you are. And turn your phone off. We'll deal with everyone in the morning. <laughs> wow. What do you think? I think it's a really excellent plan. <laughs> <laughs>